Justifia, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making um, an ashtray out of resin. I'm pretty new to this, so bear with me. Um, it's a learning process. I've made a few now, um, but they they're always they always have room for improvement. Um, they get better each time. So a lot of steps to resin. And like I said, I'm beginning, so it's a good place to start if you don't know what you're doing. Um, but it also might be helpful to see what I do with it too, because I've approached this in a really creative way, I'd say. I use a lot of things from my everyday life that I think would be cool in my resin. Like if I see anything holographic or iridescent or what have you, then I usually cut it up and put it in my pore paper. Just put my gloves on. Not big on gloves, but you have to wear it with resin. It'll hurt if you don't. Um, I'm gonna have limited time to work with this resin because it will start curing after just a few minutes. Right now, I have two cups. I'm gonna put part A, part B in. I'm gonna mark it with a marker. Just gonna mark my cups. All right. Um, yeah, let's get started. I have my resin. Part A, part B. Here goes nothing. Awesome. All right, got my two picks. Mix a little on its own first. Wow, this was hard. And now mix them together. I'm pouring the lighter one into the heavier one just in hopes it will sink. <laughs> Definitely my experience pour painting has helped a lot to learn about resin. And now I'm realizing that this cup probably isn't big enough for what I want to be doing. All right, I've got my cups. Um, they're pretty mixed. I think one's a little thicker than the other, but hey, I'm sure it'll be fine. My hand is well cramped now from mixing this thick liquid. All right, so the first one, I'm gonna use this cast. Blow, every, blow it out a little. And pour a little paint in the start. I mean, paint, yeah. Listen to me, I'm so used to pour painting, but all this stuff's kind of new to me. I'm trying some scratched, uh, I mean, not scratched, uh, broken CD film. Hopefully, this will have like a cool shard effect. And I've got some fun opal stuff in here. And I'm working here on this plastic mat. This, a silicone mat is like the best thing to use if you are going to be investing in. All right, so now I'm gonna pour some more in now that we have some the things I want submerged. All right, let's take a look and see how they came out. So this is like a week and a half later. Um, they typically take maybe 24 to 72 hours to dry, um, but then if you want it to cure right, you should leave it for more days. Um, and I've had some be all goopy and stuff, and it's like if you don't mix it properly, they can 
they don't cure right and so that's why that one to one ratio is like super important but all right first step we got so this is that one I did in inspiration and in with and with money um, I'll give you a different close-up later but pretty cool and there's always kinds of like edges that need to be trimmed sometimes there's like, like you can feel the quarters pop out a little bit they're too heavy they sunk this one reminds me of like a 90s dance party <laughs> it's very fun it has a lot of glitter in it um, and some really weird things you wouldn't expect like down there there's a flower and then here, over here there's like party decorations nail gems Broken CD. Yeah, that one's pretty cool too. Next up, we have the one I put the rocks in. So I used some acrylic paint in this, some glitter paint, and I don't love um, the way that it mixed with the resin. It, for whatever reason, didn't mix, and so there were pockets of. Um, wet paint still when I first took it out but kind of gets this thick iridescent look to it the rocks looked really nice I think I'll definitely do more with the rocks especially this one can you see it I hope so it's an ashtray this uh, mold isn't that great, but eh. Anyways, so I'm gonna talk to you about some flaws that can happen too. Um, oh, first one more. This one, this one I use like a smoky dye, like a gray color, and then I put just different iridescent flakes in there. Um, it came out really nice, simple. Now I'll talk to you about mistakes. I didn't have enough left to make a full coaster, but yet I still tried. Um, so that's where you end up with the, like this kind of accident where the bottom wasn't coated enough. And uh, so now it's like kind of useless, except I might wear it as like a prop LARPing or something. Who knows, it kind of reminds me of the night sky. I do like the design, just not the execution. Next up is this. So this one's great. It's beautiful. But you see that? That's what happens when you get like a pocket of air, like a big bubble. It's more. Yeah, so. Right there is breaking off in a tomb. And this one is horrible. But it looks really cool. So this has a black, like, I put a little bit of black, just black dye in on one side and then layer the other with the holographic stuff. So it did come up pretty cool. So that's, that's uh, your first introduction to resin. I hope you guys liked it. Um, subscribe to my channel for more art videos. I take requests.
yeah thanks for watching i hope you guys liked this video i definitely enjoyed making it um i'm sure they'll be cooler next time everything gets better with time so yeah later everyone thanks i appreciate you